Hey guys, so today I want to talk about my bug out bag and I've seen a lot of bug out bag videos and a lot of people only show their gear but survival is not only about gear most of it is actually knowledge so I'm going to show you how to use what you have in your bug out bag or in this case what I have in my bug out bag There are five main priorities of survival which are safety shelter, fire, water and food. Safety being the most important one and food the least important one. It depends on the circumstances which are the most important ones. For example today it's really hot so shelter and fire for warmth is not that important but what's most important today is water. So for getting water I have this stainless steel cup and I also have this cotton bandana and I'll just wrap this around here and it's gonna ensure that there are not gonna be a lot of particula in the water Still need a little more. Okay, so that's it. I'm just gonna filter this again and then we have some almost clean water. So, now we're just gonna pour this into here. And there's a tiny rest that's left over there's a lot of particular so that way uh, you can get rid of this now you're just gonna put the bandana on top of it and pour So now you can see that there's almost no particular left in it. And that's exactly what we want. The next thing we need to do is to boil it. And for that we need fire. But today it's really hot so the risk of a forest fire is very high. So we're gonna use this aspid stove here. It only produces a small flame in a controlled environment and that's exactly what we want. 
Now let's get to my fire kit, since we need some way of lighting this fire. So, I have a fire steel, which I normally use for making an ordinary campfire. I also have a normal lighter, another lighter, I have a lens, I also have a candle for transporting the fire. I have some matches. Uh, I also have the stormproof lighter. And yeah, this is just the striker for my fire steel. And it's very important to have various ways of making fire, because if one fails, you should have some other ones that won't fail. Now let's light this up here. And then you just put the cup on top. I also have some tinder. This is some tinder fungus. And I also have these here. But normally I just use birch bark as a tinder. Now I always like drinking my water with tea and the tea is also in my food pouch so in my food pouch I have two bags of sunflower um, of sunflower seeds and where they contain about um, 2500 kilocalories so if I ration it it's gonna be enough for five days and I can also use this as a bait for traps and it only weighs one kilogram so and here I have a lot of tea and a metal uh, straw. Yeah, that's that. Almost done. Still needs to boil though. Let's add the tea. Now if we talk about safety, we talk about the things that threaten your life immediately. So the first thing that can threaten your life immediately is if you get hurt. So for that I have a first aid kit with me. And in here I have some bandages. I also have a triangular bandage. 
I have a rescue sheet. I have several burn dressings, some wound dressings. I also have some plasters. More plasters. And I have some gloves. Some safety pins. Scissors. And well, that's basically it. And my whole bug out bag is not done yet. I'm always still changing things and adding new things. So if you have some suggestions, then feel free to comment. Now another thing that I have with me is this here. And this serves two functions. First, you can signal for help. And second of all, it's a good cover against rain, at least for your upper body. Now you can just hang this up near your camp or somewhere on a field and like that you can be seen more easily. And you should also make some signal fires and then you may be found. So now let's talk about the next important thing, shelter. So what I have with me is my emergency shelter which I showed in another video and you can check it out if you want um, I just put it in a black cover and I added a second small wool blanket to it because it was a little bit too cold the last time I used it and as I already showed this is also part of shelter um, then we have this shemak here. You can use it for all kinds of different purposes, but the most important one is as a scarf, or you can also put it around your head. And of course, your clothing is part of your shelter. So, in here, I have some extra clothing. Um, there are some socks and uh, very warm underwear and yeah that's my shelter of course fire is part of your shelter too it makes you feel very warm and that's why I have a fire kit Now here are two other things that are very important for survival, which is a good knife and a good saw. And I mostly use my knife for carving, for small things, but also for batoning. And batoning is a very helpful technique to get the dry firewood now the first thing you need to do to get firewood is to cut it down with a saw.
Now I'm not going to use this firewood, I'm just going to show you how to beton it. So guys, that's how you get firewood. This tastes very good. Now here I have two items. Which I would call luxury items. So you can use this toothbrush. I don't have any toothpaste with me, but in an emergency, I would use charcoal, which is even better than toothpaste. Doesn't taste that good, but <laughs> that's not our concern. And then I also have a, a radio which is powered by a hand crank and I have it in this plastic bag so it's waterproof and this is just for getting the latest news so here are some items that are also very important but not a survival priority so for example here I have a compass I also have a map of my area and it's waterproof. Here I have a lot of batteries for this flashlight and I also have this headband here. It's very good because you can just use an ordinary flashlight and put it in there and then you can have a headlamp. If you have an emergency shelter with you you also need some cordage to build it and for that I have a lot of paracord with me and I also have this uh, natural rope with me and cordage can be used for a lot of different tasks and it's very important to have it with you. Keeping in mind the five main priorities of survival is crucial. So first off we got safety and this is just an immediate threat and the most reasonable response to it would be to flee. Then we've got shelter. If you always have your emergency shelter with you or you know how to build a primitive shelter then we've also got that covered. Then we've got fire. If you have your um, if you have your fire kit with you, then you know how to make a fire, or you can also make a fire with a primitive bow drill, and I'm gonna make a separate video about that. And then we've got water. I'm also gonna make a video about how to find water in nature, and we've got food. I always have food with me when I get into the woods but I'm also gonna make a video about how to find food in the wilderness. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative for you and I see you next time.